Hi everybody, this is Heather Early. Um, I'm going to be giving a presentation today on why vacations are good for your health. Um, I have a PowerPoint slide show prepared. I know you guys can't see it. I'll be submitting it with my um, video for my peer review and for the professor to grade, but I'm just going to go through that and you guys can look at that whenever you get a chance. Um, with summer coming up, I figured this would be a great topic to do as far as you know, summer vacations coming up and people getting ready for those. So I just want to kind of go over why vacations are good for your health. Um, I'm going to start by asking how many of you have been on a vacation? I know I have. <laughs> we used to go every year when I was little. Um, we'd go to Missouri and see cousins and family that we had up there. It was one of my favorite things to do was to just get away from the stress and kind of take a break and chill out and spend time with family. Um, a vacation deprivation study done by Expedia showed that Americans got 14 vacation days in the year 2012 and only took 12 of them, compared to the French, who used 30 of the vacation days given to them that are required by law to be given to them by their employer. In Spain, people get a mini minimum of 22 paid vacation days plus 12 national holidays off of work every year. Mink.com their fitness page did a study on eight reasons why Europeans are healthier than Americans, and the number two reason was extended vacation times. Uh, people in Europe recognize that vacations are important. It's important to give your brain a break and to get away from everything, and we just need to uh, kind of get American employers on board with that. Uh, one week of vacation isn't enough to truly reduce your stress levels. Um, we need to just take some time off work and, and uh, get that stress gone. Um, Americans don't vacation enough. According to the Huffington Post Health webpage, it says that it's a fact now that more Americans aren't taking any vacations. Last week, they reported that 40% of Americans don't plan on using any of the vacation time that their employers give them. I know I'm guilty of it. We save it and save it and save it and say that we'll use it, and then something always ends up happening. I've been with the company that I worked for for three years. I've got three weeks of vacation. I think I've used two days of it, and both days were for sick time. <laughs> Um, so I just haven't, haven't used any of it, and we really need to. Um, they've discovered that there's something called a martyr syndrome that people suffer from, and I know I'm guilty of it. Um, people think that nobody else can do their job as good as they can, and they feel guilty about taking time off work, but we need to realize that it's detrimental to our health not to take the vacation, and um, it's really affecting your performance. It's been proven that not taking a time away from work can affect your performance at work. Health.com put together a list of five reasons you need to plan your vacation right now. And I'm going to go through that list. Um, it says, reason number one, help you bust your stress rut and maybe your stress gut. Vacations, weekend getaways, or even just a day away playing golf or shopping or traveling, spending time with family can reduce stress hormones and lower your blood pressure. If a day away can be that good for you, imagine what a week or two can do. Um, it make, can make you look and feel younger, can boost your immune system, which will help protect against cold and flu and other th other illnesses you can get throughout the year. Um, it's definitely a stress re reducer, and we all know that stress is a contributing factor to weight gain. So if we take a vacation and reduce the stress in our life, it can help you manage your weight or lose weight, which is always a good thing. Reason number two is to give your heart a break. Uh, the Framingham Heart Study showed that women who take at least two vacations a year are eight times less likely to develop coronary heart disease, which is a huge number. And coronary heart disease is the number one killer of women in the United States. So that's also really important. Um, they did also did a study with men who had an elevated risk for coronary disease and shows that those who didn't take an annual vacation were 32% more likely to die of a heart attack than those who vacation regularly, which is also a really staggering percentage. Um, it's important um, to kind of get away, and it's been shown that vacationing can improve your cardiovascular health, so that's really important. Number three is to help you get closer to your family. Um, there were a group of researchers at Purdue University that showed that vacations have a positive impact on families, getting away from the day-to-day -day stresses, especially if you go and leave your cell phones, tablets, laptops, everything electronic at home, um, really help families um, develop and it promotes a sense of closeness and builds ties that last long before or long after, sorry, the vacation's over with. 
So that's always a good thing. I know that was one of my favorite things about vacationing when I was little was just getting away from everything and spending time with my family. Reason number four is that it can make you smarter, especially at work. A vacation can be the break that your brain needs, um, especially, again, if you spend it disconnected from electronic devices to breathe and catch up. You can catch up on your sleep. Um, lack of sleep and stress can have an impact on decision making. According to the National Institutes of Health, um, after a few days free of daily stress, you people have shown improved rates in being able to make more thoughtful decisions at work and not relying so much on snap decisions that people make when they're tired or stressed and just trying to get something over with and taken care of. So it can actually improve your performance at work. Well, the last reason and maybe the most important is that it can make you happier. Um, studies also done by the National Health Institute show that lower levels of tension and depression among women um, were present in people or in women, sorry, who took vacations frequently versus those who didn't vacation enough. Um, it turns out anticipating a vacation is also a mood booster. It's that feeling of excitement that you get when you're like, oh, I get to go on vacation next week. And um, it just kind of can make you in a better mood and help you feel better. In summary, um, the benefits of vacation regular vacationing regularly are less stress, potential for weight loss, it improves your cardiovascular health, it helps you grow closer to your family, it can improve decision-making skills and your performance at work, which is huge, and it can also make you happier, which is the most important. So in closing, I just want to encourage you guys that everybody deserves a vacation. Everybody needs a vacation every once in a while. Take a little time off work. Get out there and explore. Put your cell phones down. Enjoy your family and um, enjoy the health benefits that vacationing regularly provides. I want to thank you guys for your time today, and I hope you enjoyed my speech. And go take a vacation this summer. Bye, guys. Thanks.